Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's the beginning of the new year, which is really exciting, but also that means that I'm in the middle of winter, which has just been depressing. It's hard to have depression during winter. It's hard to set goals for New Year's when you know that you're battling depression. And I wanted to talk about the very specific things that I do that have helped me cope when I am really struggling with depression. There are tons of tips and resources and hacks and all kinds of things um, that people recommend for depression, but oftentimes they are very vague, large categories, like people recommend exercising or they recommend self-care. And for me, when I was initially starting to recognize that my depression was a problem, those big categories were, were very confusing and I didn't know exactly what would work for me. But I have been doing this for several years now. I feel like I have an arsenal of very specific things that I do to combat my depression that has really helped me and I wanted to share those things with you. The first thing I want to talk about is talking with someone. Um, obviously, a lot of people recommend therapy. I am one of those people. I had a wonderful therapist who really helped me, but I've also had some not so great therapists. <laughs> And I know that therapy is not always available to everyone. It's also really hard to get together with a friend or a family member and have this really perfect environment of uninterrupted communication where you can talk about something that is really hard, like depression or like chronic pain. And so I have found that I really like to use the Marco Polo app I make videos and I send them to my friends and by make videos I mean I will chat. I'll just chat with them in a video. Specifically I have been sending these videos back and forth to a friend for probably about five or six years now and they have been awesome. It has kept our relationship current. It's a friend I don't see all the time but we both have mental health problems and so really great. Um, Marco Polo for me is honestly like free therapy because it's uninterrupted. You can talk and I feel like I am someone too that if I can talk it out usually I learn something or sometimes I can even solve my problem but I need a person to talk to and a place to do that and Marco Polo is great because you just talk. It's not like you're just talking to yourself in your shower um, because you actually get a response back. And so I highly, highly recommend Marco Poloing a trusted family member or a friend and just talking to them, starting the conversation, showing them something, seeing how their day's going, and then see if it can turn into a conversation about depression. But either way, just having that connection without having to leave your house um, without having to find a babysitter or or to actually make the time to meet up is something that has really helped me. I also wanted to talk about exercise. Now I have chronic pain and I have had to reevaluate the way that I exercise for years. It's happened several times where I feel my body has changed or a certain exercise that I used to love and used to do now aggravates my pain and so I've had to reevaluate my exercise several times. But the thing that I have found that has helped um, with fibromyalgia, with chronic migraines, and obviously with depression is um, a YouTube channel actually um, called Team Body Project. I am going to link their YouTube page below. But the coaches are so motivating. Um, they don't push too hard, which I think is something that a lot of um, coaches, classes, online programs do. It's really great because you can do it at home. You don't have to get ready. No one has to see you. They have a lot of low impact videos and they also provide modifications. So I exercise most days. Um, low impact with modifications and I love listening to the commentary by the coaches it's just very motivating it doesn't push me too hard but um, they recognize that movement and exercise is something that we should be proud of and I think that that is something really important to hear when you have depression is that you're doing a good job and that you did something 
and to get recognition for doing that. So I highly, highly recommend their videos. Um, they're free on YouTube. I have had a paid membership for a couple of years now that I've used consistently. It's consistently worked. The videos have been adaptable when I've had my chronic pain and I definitely recommend just starting out with their YouTube channel and seeing if it works for you. Now I just talked about how important validation is and I want to talk about that on an inward level. Um, I've heard people talk about meditation or journaling as something that has really helped them when they've had depression and it's helped me too. It's taken some time to figure out exactly what to journal because that's a really vague thing. Um, but when I'm having depression and I can recognize that part of my depression has to do with my self-esteem, I don't feel like I'm enough, I don't feel like I am doing enough or contributing enough, there's that negative self-talk maybe about being lazy or, or not doing something that everyone else is doing that I should be doing, I will start journaling lists of things that I accomplished that day. And I've been doing this for years. Again, this is something that is very, very simple. Um, these things are not big. Oftentimes in my journal, those lists would look like I got up and I ate breakfast. I went to the gas station and I had a soda. I took care of my dog. I let her out to go to the bathroom and she was fed. I read a book for a few minutes. These are all very simple things that um, didn't require me usually to get ready. They're not big accomplishments, but they were things that took my mental and physical energy at the time and I needed to give myself credit. So I highly, highly recommend making a list if you're feeling like you're not doing enough. Make a list of what you did do because oftentimes I think we do more than we realize. And especially when you have depression, those little things that you're doing that are taking energy should be something that you are giving yourself credit for and that you're recognizing and that should make you feel good. I just mentioned that I would go to the gas station and get a drink and that leads me to my next thing that I have been doing for years and that is trying to get out every single day. Now, if you have depression, if you have chronic pain, it is a really big commitment and a really big energy drain to get ready. And so that's why I would go to the gas station because I could go in in my grungiest sweats with my hair pulled back in a ponytail, no makeup, looking just like really gross. And I knew there were certain gas stations I wouldn't run into people if I wanted to talk to someone, I could, but I didn't need to small talk with anyone if I didn't want to. And so I would go in, I would get my big candy bar and my big Dr. Pepper. And it was just really important for me at that time to get out in fresh air, to see the reality of other people, to be around other people without actually having to show up ready and presentable. And it really, really helped me past the time um, when I was suicidal. I also would go to our local thrift store. That was something that was really fun because I could go and walk the aisles. There were new things there all the time. And I would just try to find things that made me happy. And I didn't always buy them. Um, sometimes I did, but oftentimes I would just look and I would, um, you know, just enjoy the things that made me happy. When you have depression, it's so important to go back to the basics to figure out what does actually make you happy. Most people, um, they're pretty like level. They feel happy, they feel sad, but generally they're just like, they're pretty good, they're okay. But when you have depression, it forces you to look for joy and to recognize joy and the times that you do find joy from just little teeny things, things like being able to do the dishes or finding something cool at the thrift store, or the sugar rush from the caffeine you just drank. It's so meaningful, and that joy means so much more than it would have if you were not in that depression. So you have to find things that will bring you joy. And sometimes you can do that at home, but oftentimes I think it's really important to get out of your head 
get into reality in the outside world around other people, get some fresh air and, and be distracted for a little while and not think about the depression that's going on. Lastly, I just want to mention antidepressants. Um, I know there are a lot of feelings about getting on medication and I actually talked about them in a video I did earlier. Um, just all of the feelings that I had about getting on antidepressants and the effect it's had for me over the last several years of um, taking antidepressants. I'll link that video below, but I can't talk about depression and battling depression without mentioning antidepressants because they truly are a miracle, a miracle that, um, that we're really blessed to have access to. So I'm just going to mention that, leave that there, but if that's something you've thought about if you're dealing with depression and you're not on antidepressants I highly recommend watching the video that I posted earlier again that link is down below I hope this video has helped I hope it's given you a new idea of something you could do to try and feel a little bit happier I know that depression is extremely painful um, like I mentioned earlier, I was suicidal. I was suicidal for a year and a half and that emotional and mental pain was worse than any kind of physical pain that I felt in my life, um, including fibromyalgia, chronic migraines, I've carried two children, I've had emergency surgeries. Still, by and large, that suicidal pain was horrific. So, you're in my thoughts, you're in my prayers if you're going through this. I want you to know you have a friend. I want you to know someone understands. I've crawled out of that hole of, of that really bad emotional pain and I can still sometimes feel myself getting back. But because I have these tools now set in place, um, I'm so much better off. And so you can do this, I can do this. We'll make it through winter or the metaphorical winter you're going through. But I hope today is um, a better day for you. I hope tomorrow is better than today. And I want you to know that you are loved, that you are valued, and that you are valuable. And it doesn't matter what you accomplish today, you have worth. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.